Morning, folks. Hello. Good morning. Hey, Duffy. Where'd you get your? Did you paint your picture? That is your. No, it was a. Uh, who was it? It was a company. I think it was like Gravatar or something like that. No, that's not right. No, I, that might be. Yeah. I think I've seen that before. <laughs> But I sent them a picture and they and just had them pick somebody to do a drawing for me. It turned out pretty good. Yeah. I've had them do the characters. Red Hat Summit always has like the people that come in and do those. And I absolutely hated it. I was like, oh, I am not ever using this. <laughs> oh, delete your digital copy. <laughs> okay. I like the, uh, I like the. The stuffies in the background, Emily. <laughs> so the fox makes sense, but where does the raccoon fall into that, Emily? I've never asked. That is Ricky Raccoon, the mascot of Tag Security. Oh, that's right. It is a raccoon. Hello, Duffy. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> we met up last night. <laughs> how, how is your how is your awake level are you it's, uh, okay coffee a bunch of londoners in san francisco i'm like oh, yeah. i imagine the jet lag is killing them Neat. We've got most folks here. Did we already say that Aaron was running this one? Perfect. All right. Which I totally forgot. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the reminder, but I, I, I can fly by the seat of my pants. So no, this is going to be wonderful. Um, uh, welcome. This is Tuesday's uh, meeting for October the 3rd for the TOC. Um, it's going to be updates from the tags and Aaron Boyd is leading so I will pass to Aaron. Hooray we've started there. Hey and uh, I appreciate the festive sweater Amy I think we all need to to give props to to October and your company. It up sometimes you know. All right so I'm actually very excited to have all the tags here and hear the updates. Um, just going through the general meeting logistics I think we've all seen uh, the LF legal stuff and how we're going to run it, uh, the agenda today is to get some updates and, you know, uh, the TOCs put in requests about how we do those updates to make them more useful and helpful to everyone. So we're all on the same page. Um, and, you know, especially we want to hear about projects applying to more levels and then questions. I know there's been some confusion about annual reviews, so we can cover that at the end if we have time. So let's kick it off with tag app delivery. Oh, they didn't update slide. their slides, so like, like I'm, I'm gonna pause to be able to see, like, if there's something, if there's somebody from App Delivery is here, be able to like come speak to that. Um, it happens sometimes. All right, moving on. There now, tech contributor strategy. So thanks, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for pausing. Yeah, I was like, why is this out of order? Okay, so nope. um, whomever's here from Tag Contributor Strategy, if you could kick it off, that'd be great. Yeah, I don't I don't see Josh. I thought he was gonna do it, but he's not here. So I will I will do it. Um so from a health standpoint, we have we have lots of new initiatives, which I will kind of talk about when we go through the slide. We from an activity standpoint, most of our stuff is is mostly staffed. So uh, the governance working group is uh, in pretty good shape. The new um, deaf and hard of hearing initiative, which is another new initiative. That one's in really good shape, as is the mentoring program. Uh, where we could use some help is contributor growth and maintainer circle. Those are ones we've continued to struggle to get uh, people involved in those. So if you know any, anyone who wants to help us, just, just let us know. Uh, we're engaged with lots of projects. Um, Cilium, Camada, Cloud Events, Knative, Telepresence, CRIO, 
We've completed some work, so that's been really good. We've got a vendor neutrality doc, which um, is pending. I think it's just waiting on some final approvals, but it's it's pretty much done. Uh, we've done governance reviews this month with Carmada, CRIO, and Cilium. So those, those are done as well. We've also uh, finished some work on a new governance review template so that that's a little bit more robust than the one we had in the past. And then we just published a guide with advice on running inclusive and accessible events, which is also linked here. So I feel like we got we got a lot done this month. We still have some stuff in progress. So the Moving Levels Task Force, which is a big project, um, they're working on defining the criteria for levels. So that's a uh, work in progress right now. And then the other thing we're working on is a governance self-evaluation, because what we've found is that in doing the governance reviews with a lot of projects, um, if we just gave them a checklist, they could fix a lot of things and we wouldn't have to iterate over and over on the governance reviews. So we're working on a governance self-evaluation form for projects where they can just fill it out. And as they're filling it out, they can fix the things that maybe aren't ideal and make it make the process easier for everyone and this also puts um, a bit more, I think this will give us a little more buy-in from the projects because they're doing their own governance self-assessment and it doesn't feel like tag contributor strategy, um, I don't know, assessing them with a capital A. So we're hoping this makes the process a little more productive. And then we're also working on a higher ed initiative that's getting, getting some traction, but it's still kind of work in progress. Did I, did I miss anything? Catherine's on the line. Did, Catherine and Ali, did I miss anything? Looks good to me. So there was a question in chat from Emily around the vendor neutrality doc. Um, was that more of a statement or a question about- Oh, sorry, I must've missed that. I'll, I'll do that now. Yeah, just, just more of a statement. It's ready to go. Okay, great. Thanks. And so I'm- really interested in the efficiencies that you're putting in place for the self-evaluation of governance and and would love to see the template that you guys have come up with um, as well as sharing that ventral, uh, vendor neutrality doc. So are those available for public consumption? Because I don't see a link to them here. Um, they they might be. Ali, do you know the governance self-evaluation? Is, um, is that a PR somewhere that we can share or is that the draft doc? Uh, not yet. So we are working on that uh, in a feature branch so that we can work collaboratively, but it's not there yet. Um, so it's work in progress. Okay. Um, can you maybe drop the feature link to the feature branch in the chat? So yeah, you can do that. Cool. And it looks like Emily's dropped the vendor neutrality one in the in the doc. Any other questions? Yeah. Um how would the slide template work for you? Uh, we have a lot of initiatives, so we kind of struggled to get everything onto the slide. I think we did a bit of uh, rearranging, um, but I think, I think, I think once we got it, got the stuff in there, I think it, I think it seems to work. It, it feels a little bit busier, but in in talking through it, I felt like the maybe the flow was a lot better than in the past. Okay. And the tricky part around this is basically like we won't do this again until December. So we'll have like everything from KubeCon as well. So just kind of getting feedback now around like, is it working? What do you want to change? And it sounds like we'll, we'll just work through it. So, Erin, back to you. Great. And so, under request, you didn't have anything that you needed help on. It looks like you do have a lot of work. Is that still accurate? Uh, yeah. I don't think there's anything we need help on. It's um, a lot of stuff is just in flight right now. Okay. Great. Thank you for the update, Don. Thanks. And Ollie. All right, moving on, Amy. Uh, tag environmental sustainability. Hello. Um, so for us, we focus a lot this week and next week on the Cloud Native Sustainability Week. Uh, it's going down next week. Um, we have a lot planned. We have every day a blog post, um, uh, also a live stream, a virtual event, and 24 meetups, but a couple of meetups are also a little bit later in the month. So um, there's a lot of focus on that. Um, we also work quite a bit on green reviews. Um, so we have the new working group. We are kind of starting um, a couple of efforts. Um, we have a lot of like 
focus, collaboration with the Falco team, and um, just getting basically um, the working group started. Uh, another focus is on getting the comms working group started finally. So we already voted on the working group a couple of months ago, but we didn't have like a lot of traffic uh, um, because yeah, maybe uh, it was like, maybe not like the best, um, like we didn't have like a charter and everything. So we are kind of like re re reiterating over this. So now we have a charter, we have like a more, like a better plan how this working group is structured. For example, we are planning to have sub team leads, for example, for uh, pushing social media posts so that we already have like delegation in place and like a better structure overall, like a more clear, um, like overview how this working group should be structured. Um, so we are focusing on getting this um, running uh, this uh, like in next weeks. And also one of the um, requests would be, it would be great to have, uh, but we will also send comms uh, probably later this week to have a review of the um, working group comms charter. And um, we know that it's already approved and it's already, it's kind of straightforward what like the outline is, but still, I think this would be very helpful. Um, contributor activity, right? We have a couple of new blog posts in the works. Um, these blog posts focus on things like how to get started as a contributor, because it's like probably also for the other tags, one of the most common questions that we get and just linking to a blog post probably helps uh, or certainly helps. Um, we also have like some other blog posts um, for like a general topic, for example, like what is uh, in cloud native sustainability. So what is like our focus, um, things like this. Um, we also have a couple of blog posts which are part of the Cloud News Sustainability Week. So we are working with Kepler, Scafandra, uh, Cube Green, uh, also Linkerd provided blog posts. So we are working also with them to write some awesome blog posts for the event. And we also have a couple of new contributors who are just uh, like organizing meetups. Uh, right, um, projects engaged, I already mentioned this. So we are in contact with um, like the biggest uh, tools or projects in our um, field so they can have like an introduction or like a project spotlight blog post. Um, I think that would help a lot. For example, also Kepler's new to the CNCF. I don't, I don't think they already have like a um, larger blog post. The same thing also for Scafandra, which is not part of the CNCF, but it's very much a cloud native project. So I think um, it's also very interested just to look into this project too. Um, right, completed work. So we had a couple of special meetings for the Cloud Native Sustainability Week, a lot of meetings actually. So we have like everybody in sync. Um, there's a lot of organizers. So they took quite a couple of like extra meetings. Um, also, we have had some extra meetings to discuss the comps charter. Um, so I think that's great. Um, right. And I think multiple blocks, I already mentioned this. Yeah. And upcoming, um, tomorrow we have our tag meeting again, and we are planning to talk about like the goals, like what we want to, um, talk about in the maintainer talk at KubeCon, like what can we, um, finish until end of this year. So just outlining or reiterating on our goals. Um, I think that's, uh, very much needed. We have the same thing also for the working group green reviews, defining like more clear quotes. Um, so everybody's aware of that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. A lot of, a lot of focus on the cloud native sustainability week. <laughs> Great. It would be really helpful if you could add in, especially for the comms charter work group, a link to that, um, so that um, we can easily perform oh. that review and provide feedback. Um, so if, if you wouldn't mind providing it in the meeting chat, I can drop it into the notes as well. Um, Let's stop at the link in a second. Are there more questions? There was a question as well in the meeting chat from Kathy around where the blogs are going to be published. So the blogs um, will be published on the CNCF blog, so the regular blog. 
and also on the tag block. So we have, um, one second, I can send the link. So we have this website. And there's also in the top bar, the link to the Cloud Native Sustainability Week, and there's also a link to the blogs. Uh, and next week we will publish um, every day one blog on this page and also on the CNCF blog. I have another question. What does this work comms? What does that represent comms? Um, the comms working group is, so a lot of our efforts focus around like outreach and uh, for example, also the Cloud Native Sustainability Week is more or less like a big effort just to talk about environment sustainability and comms is for communication. So everything for, for example, social media posts, um, meetups, which we plan to have, for example, at bigger conferences, all this needs to be planned. And in the past, one of the co-chairs or somebody else took just this up, but it makes a lot of sense, I think, also to enable new contributors to have this as a role, as a sub team. So we don't like flood the regular meeting also with these discussions. Um, right. Also, for example, like how to get started with the tag um, as a contributor, I think this also falls under communication uh, a little bit. And I see that Emily dropped in the draft charter, so I'll add that to the notes as well. Um, and Chris Short also offered the Kubernetes comm sub project. If you're not um, familiar with that, Leo, it might be something great for for all of you in that working group to maybe review as a as an exemplar. That's that's a good um, link. I think we are kind of familiar with this, but I don't think we have just looked looked it up for this one, but. It's a good shout out. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Chris. All right, anyone else have any questions for TAG environmental sustainability? All right, great. Thank you, Leo. Moving on to TAG network. All right. Well, we have a, I have a, Something of a question maybe to start things off with. So we have a, a few projects that have their annual review up. I think most of those are sandbox. Well, most of them are sandbox level, um, and they're listed in the upper right-hand corner of the slide. And and I wanted to make sure that Tag Network is doing everything that the Tag is supposed to currently do. Um, there's an. And I know that there's some some um, process and flight, or. So there's an open discussion. Maybe um, Emily was helping advance, I think, with with some other folks about oh, um, well, tag involvement in uh, doing something alongside you know with the annual reviews. We've on occasion we'll we'll review them. It's a little more happenstance than it is a particular process. And so some projects are uh, amenable to or asked to present their annual review. Um, whereas probably the majority um, don't. And so I just wanted to do a quick check to see if there was, to make sure that we were touting the the line, towing the... I think for the most part, like, <clears throat> the reviews we here are, are just up for uh, our own our own review. So I think, I think you're in good shape there. I don't think there's anything particularly needed for some... I've seen most of these in the, uh, in the open review list that were... were we're working on trying to get through. Uh, Lee, I'm actually glad you brought this up because this oh. has been a point of confusion. So let me provide a little bit more clarity for everyone on the call. Um, there is a document that was written as part of transitioning in your reviews to the tags. Um, there is a process that is defined in there about how a tag conducts a sandbox annual review. Um, at the September 19th TOC meeting, uh, we confirmed that the tags were able to get through as many of them as they could. So the next steps are for any sandbox annual review that is still on the TOC repo that has an annual review label and a tag label associated with it that is still with the tags to complete. Everything else that doesn't have a tag label on it is going to be on the TOC to resolve. Um, I will find that process and share it with you in chat here. And Lee, I will make sure that you get a copy of that as well. 
Yes. All right. Very good. <clears throat> um, I th good. There are I, most of the ones that are listed in this slide. I think have tag network uh, as a label. If I'm looking at the right project board, which which I must be. Uh, so good. So there's some there's um, some work for us to do there. Then so that's all right. Um, fair enough. And then uh, for the rest of um, tag network, so we, there were uh, um, two pro the, the two projects that have most recently presented for oh uh, sandbox are spider pool and easegrass, and so um, they think they I know easegrass um, probably hasn't been up for review just yet. I'm not I'm not sure if, if spider pool has, but but um, they did a, a a good job of presenting. Um, there's a one project within Tag Network that is up for um, archival. It's um, Service Mesh Interface, so uh, SMI, so, which, which is a spec project. Um, there had been <clears throat> a large portion of the that specs scope um, over time had been more and more absorbed into uh, one of the Kubernetes working groups. And that over time, there had been uh, a Kubernetes working group established um, more specifically just to helping advance more of that interoperability and, and sort of a, um, API gateway-based, uh, network-based configuration. Um, it's referred to as a, the Gamma project as a working group, I think, within SIG network. And so uh, there had been... So anyway, that's sort of the, the history. There had been a... a less and less momentum on service mesh interface itself. Um, about three months ago, the we had um, stopped hosting those meetings. And so there weren't there weren't a lot of um, uh, service meshes that had implemented SMI that that were that was complaining that we weren't meeting. and and so just uh, organically the the group of maintainers has arrived at a proposal to archive the project. so. so the history there. Um, and near as I understand, I think that's just currently up for um, uh, review by the TOC at, at some point. And I think it's perfectly acceptable to archive projects when they have met that bar. And I don't want us to necessarily be overly hesitant about it. I think the only way we can maintain this healthy ecosystem at the scale that it as it is, is to make sure we are paying attention to the health of these things, um, the annual reviews, the tags, you know, really providing the boots on the ground view of this. So um, thank you, Lee. I appreciate your initiative in getting that done. So yeah. are there any questions for Tag Network? I have one. How's the health of the leadership team? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, well, um, the, there are three co-chairs um, currently. Two of them are on hiatus or maybe wait, waiting to be um, replaced. Uh, so Ken Owens and oh, geez, um, Ed, um, who's here in Austin. Um, and then there's... Uh, one individual, Lin Sun, who'd um, recently been um, interested in co-chairing, so we'd we'd met, and she she had she hadn't joined any meetings before she had offered to co-chair, and so in that that was a, a couple of months ago. Um, in that time, she we have had one meeting together. Uh, she hosted this last meeting um, uh, unto her own, and it was really just uh, an easegress maintainer and her. Uh, and one other person there, they, yep. Yeah, so, so it needs to be better. Um, I don't, they, they, looking over the notes, it wasn't, uh, I think that they, we have to go back and offer some different counsel to easegress in okay. terms of what they, what they were expecting. But. So I would recommend reaching out with tag contributor strategy and seeing how you can help bootstrap some of that pipeline to tag network leadership. Um, I think there's some opportunities and some lessons learned from them working with projects that are experiencing similar issues and challenges, but I think there's an opportunity here. That contributor strategy. All right. And so I just throw on this out there. Um, 
because you have current workload is nominal to moderate. And I think we all recognize when we created the tags, we were a pretty immature organization trying to build momentum and projects. Do you feel like there, it needs to, like tag networking needs to exist in isolation by itself? It has enough work there? Or I'm just wondering as far as not only the health of the leadership to Emily's question, but the health of the community coming to support the tag. Is that still vibrant and growing or are we kind of in a um yeah I wouldn't say, yeah. yeah I don't yeah I wouldn't characterize it as vibrant and growing at um at the moment it's like some of those pro some, uh, a number of the projects that come um are quite network centric mm -hmm. or like they, they associate with it because it's um we have but but yeah, but we're we're not proactively asking for either soliciting projects that might want to propose to come and present, or we're we had um actually it's listed right here toward the bottom. There was a really active working group that was taking on the four initiatives that are listed there. Um, that it had um, multiple organizations involved, almost to the extent that it was it was probably overwhelming. And so, as of like the turn of this year there was a backing off from that or from so much activity. I think it was just, and um, so it was quite, quite healthy, quite vibrant. People were stopping in and various contributors were just showing up. Um, but yeah, oh, in over the last six months or so there, it, um, no, one of the, like, I don't know, within this last month, there was a request to help expand the disaster recovery white paper from tag storage as an example of new, um, new working material outside of san outside of sandbox reviews or or incubation reviews but um so there's there's projects that identify they clearly align with that with this topic but um and we had had initiatives like it was quite, quite healthy quite you know quite a lot of activity in the past but um between the the other two co-chairs uh, getting busy elsewhere. Uh, yeah, we we're not act, we're not actively drumming up new discussions. So yeah, it's, I think it's something we we need to you know bring as probably this you know not health should include what is the health of the community behind it, and I I don't think we're going to solve that today, but I think it's worth starting to think about what does tag networking look like in another six months and how are we measuring that health and activity and contribution and that's something you know I think we should consider as a yeah I think it'd be a great discussion to have face to face with the TOC and the tag um is is to how we solve that and how do we move forward where we where we aren't seeing that momentum we had before what is what is the best use of everyone's time right um so yeah, uh, yeah. Duffy asked if you would be in Chicago Lee I won't. Um, I just don't have the the budget. Um, yeah. to, to, it's, it's Everyone, no one does. Don't worry. <laughs> You're not alone there. Um, okay. Well, we, we'll, we'll figure out something. I just, I just think it's worth asking. So appreciate yeah. it. And uh, because I didn't ask on the last one, is this template helpful for tag networking to be able to articulate all the issues that are going on? Yeah, I think so. I mean, just even even across, just even even in this this last like small discussion of like, um, it's it's a helpful comparative. I think just as you, as it's a common template, uh, yeah, and then yeah, it gives. We, we didn't have a problem otherwise filling in whatever a blank slate, but but I but I totally get use of a template. Like yeah, I think it's a good a good idea. It's a great idea. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you, Lee. Uh, moving on, there are no other questions to tag observability. Hello. We have... Okay, go ahead. Sorry, Matt. Uh, hi. Um, so uh, it's nice to see everybody. Um, I do have some feedback on the previous topic, but I'll blast through this really quick. Um, I'll need to put this together, but I, I think she's not here, so I'll cover this. Um, in terms of the overall template, uh, I, I think it, I find it helpful actually, um, to call out the specific areas um, as a forcing function. Uh, but anyway, uh, as to the health uh, of things and what's going on, I, I think given the level of engagement and 
active participation, we have a uh, you know, number of humans, um, we're doing quite well. That said, um, it's not on the slide, but uh, I'll speak to it after. I think there's a, a huge opportunity across a couple of different domains for, for, for contribution and, and really both novel work and work that, that pushes the, um, that advances the, the state of the technology. Um, uh, and I'm excited about it, but we have two, two, we have a work group that's been moving along for some time now, um, uh, with, with, you know, active meetings, uh, that have been going through the summer around query language standardization. Um, we've spoken on it before, but that's quite healthy and, and they're moving along. We've also had a series of speakers over the last six months, um, that we've invited to speak, uh, from various specialties, uh, and, and sort of a distinguished speaker speech series we'd like to turn this into right now. Um, it's, it's gaining critical mass. I think we need to do some programming out uh, for the next couple of quarters uh, and build on the success that we've already had. Um, and we've been highlighting projects that are actually not in the CNCF necessarily, but are MIT or Apache, such as Quine, um, a streaming graph uh, interpreter, for, as an example. Um, we also have some active discussion, but in terms of health, I think, um, Again, we kind of have a lot of onlookers and we've carved out and defined in the tag issues in GitHub a number of opportunities, many of them collaborative in nature with other tags. Uh, and that's what I'll speak to later. But um, we also have a long running white paper um, that sort of uh, had, I view it uh, as, as both positive and opportunities for improvement, right? Like it's positive in that we've had an initial set of contributors do a whole bunch of work over the course of, you know, the better part of a year. Uh, and then for various reasons, they cycled out and new contributors cycled in and then picked it up. So the overall length of how long it took to complete is, you know, quite long. But now we've got to a point where uh, we're going to, we're engaging uh, with the CNCF's marketing folks, uh, and we'll have the actual white paper published. Uh, and it's undergone a ton of review, uh, and it's better for it. So that's cool. Um, we've had a request uh, to re to review the Kubernetes Metrics Workgroup Charter and Activities. Um, Alalia, I think, uh, has the current status on that, but that's uh, going to be ongoing. We've also had a number of projects uh, present to the TAG. Uh, in the, over the last few months, uh, the logging operator, uh, open cost, uh, and coop burner are the most three recent ones. Um, we have some work going on uh, in progress around Pixie, and then I'm not, I'm not personally yet familiar with Inspector Gadget. Uh, I haven't seen that leader on that one yet, but I know that's upcoming as well. Um, as to sort of a more <laughs> what's not on the slide, uh, and, and how are the health of things, and what what are the opportunities? Um, for a long time now, uh, we've needed a, a third active co-chair. Um, uh, we've, we've messaged that up through our liaison and we're in active search, but if, if anyone knows <laughs> or can recommend um, someone who would who would be a, an active third co-chair for the tag, that would be really good. Uh, Alalia and I are, are, have been juggling and tap dancing, but our third would, would spread the, the load a little bit better. Um, in addition, we have, I think, huge opportunities for strong technical leads or just contributors uh, who want to participate in, 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 in a number of opportunities. And I, I see a commonality between the following domains. Uh, there's supply chain security, um, really the intersection of, of the tag, secure, tag security and tag observability, but um, with, with the impact of, of that fiscally and, and with all, all of the eyeballs and stuff on it, uh, there's that Kubernetes observability uh, and cost monitoring. All of those three have graph data science uh, opportunities um, uh, in common, right? So all of those things can be modeled as heterogeneous spatiotemporal graphs, right? So graphs that track time uh, and a number of the projects we, that, that we've had present uh, as well as projects in the domain are all kind of converging around this. A lot of the deep learning stuff I'll be brief around large language models, which really convolutional neural networks, there are specific instances of graph neural networks, right? So graphs and graph data science um, from lots of other fields over the last 20 years, I think can be applied to a lot of the challenges we have in, in the cloud native, native ecosystem that drive up a lot of the costs around observability tooling, as well as the difficulty in saying, you know, did a CVE come out yesterday that I'm running in my massive cluster farm, you know, and do I care? Uh, and can I use profiling data to know if I do have a CVE, is the part of the CVE that is a risk even running in my environment? That's almost an unanswerable question at scale, but 
graphs provide the answer. So I think we have a lot of like cerebral, nerdy academic engagement we could do with various research arms of CNCF member companies like Microsoft and Google and VMware. Like they all have huge research groups that, and their members. And we also have projects that are positioned to be boots on the ground to the vendors that comprise the cloud native end user ecosystem. What we have in the tag is like the right organizational and structural um, entity where that innovation can happen. Um, I'm hoping that with KuCon and, and maybe the TOC can help here, uh, we can really just get more people realizing that they can just step up and do things and, and join. And I think what would really unlock that in terms of practical reality, at least for tag observability, and I'm not sure if this might be true for other tags, but uh, we have a huge backlog of videos that need editing. Uh, we need we need you know programs uh, around the speaker series, for example, but you know with enough resourcing so that we can do lead-ins and 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 interesting interviews, and we can really market it to get that engagement uh, that can fuel this potential innovative reactor. So I know that there's a lot of like, dripping language there, <laughs> and this right. is just off the cuff, but really it's we do need contribute, you know, traditional contributors, but really non-code contributors, I think are more the limiting factor and the gaining factor to realizing that. So we need both, in other words. So um, I'm picking up on a, a pattern of most of the tags uh, needing to engage with tag contributor strategy in one way or the other. And I'd hate for that to be a, a one-off to each one of the tags, because it does sound like um, there's a lot of overlap between the tags and the purpose of this meeting is to at least take the leadership within each one of those and see where there are parallels and we can work together, but maybe that love to hear from the tags going forward. What are the impediments to doing that and understanding the work and where these two things come together? Um, there is a new yeah. tag being proposed around AI and cloud native, and it sounds like there's some overlap there. So there is. Um, as far as the co-chair goes, I'm curious as to... Um, the people currently showing up and contributing on tag observability, why there isn't an opportunity for someone who is very active in that to be a chair and what, what, what the search entails of finding that third co-chair. So to respond to, in order, um, I, I think those are all, I agree with, with those points. Um, I don't see, however, um, there being overlap in terms of duplicative overlap. I, I see sort of like a Venn diagram where where there's overlap, it's possible because, but you know, for for example, in supply chain security, right there there are there's the observability tooling to get the signals that you need that feed into sort of sort of all of the stuff happening in, in, in the in the land of packages and CVEs and and really it really is those two set of domain experts collaborating. That, that is what I mean by that 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 overlap. Just to be clear, I, I don't see it as duplicative or redundant. I see it as uh, complementary. Yeah, um, I see it as complementary too. I'm just oh, okay. Cool. I, I wanted to just how, clarify how we make sure we're, we're um, creating those overlaps in the Venn diagram in the most efficient way possible. And I think exactly yeah. And, and I, I highlighted a few, but yeah. we've elaborated on a lot of them in the issues. As to the however, the more the more impactful question you're asking around the the co-chair search, um, uh, it's been sort of ad hoc and there's been a little bit of ambiguity about what the right way to do that is. Like we, we messaged up through our liaisons um, and we've kind of like, you know, kind of been consistently putting out there in our meetings and things like, hey, there's an opportunity here. Um, however, what we don't have uh, and probably should is a more well-formed intentional search as you would do an executive search or as you would do, you know, a search for steering committee members for some deliberative body or technical body. Uh, and so if there is a template for that, or if there's a, a, a well-formed recommendation from tag contributor strategy, other, other, or, or, or other, uh, we could use it. But I think there's a general feeling, and this is me inferring things which could be wrong, uh, that, you know, through the TOC and through the other uh, bodies in the CNCF and the Linux Foundation, that's sort of like the networking conduit by which we would source uh, uh, not only, you know, folks like co-chairs that, that could actually motivate resourcing as well and, and, and really be a great fit. Um, that kind of search isn't something that that ad hoc, I think, is, is doing it ad hoc isn't quite enough. So I think that we could benefit from something more formalized and more open, right? Like okay. so that we could leverage that network 
that, that we must have within the CNCF and just on this call alone. Uh, so so how to how to engage in that communication that 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 over the that's been getting better and all, all of the work around tag TOC interactions, I think pushes that along, but we could use some help there. Okay, that's excellent feedback. Thank you. I've captured it in my notes and we'll put it in the formal document. Yeah, it could um, be a little ver verbose sometimes, so I'll, I'll stop here. <laughs> no, it's all good. If if you wouldn't mind adding um, at minimum the link to the K-8's metrics work group charter and activity so that can be reviewed. Um, and then anytime that you all have links for instance, to Pixie or Inspector Gadget, it's really nice just to be able to, if someone only has this presentation to link those out for the next meeting, that would be great. Yes, that's a point well put in, you know, over the last number of years, uh, we've actually been very, very link heavy. Uh, uh, this one slide, um, uh, uh, case in point, we're a little resource constrained. Uh, so, uh, but, but to okay. your point, I'll update this slide in the existing deck a little later today. Uh, and in, in general, as you can see from, in the last three years or so, we're pretty much just, the whole slide is one giant link, uh, <laughs> the link field yeah. rather. But right. yeah, this, this one's anomalous. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate mm -hmm. the feedback and- um, And thank you for your feedback as well. I'm looking forward to all the good things coming out of, out of this fall. All right, thanks. Uh, tag runtime. All right, so hi everyone, this is Heba. I will represent uh, the tag grant time today. So uh, about the health, we uh, are busy um, planning and preparing for the KubeCon. We had a KIOT uh, and, and KubeCon this year, and uh, we have a project meeting as well, um, trying to gather more um, presentations and talks um, during, you know, like these two opportunities uh, for all the working groups and all uh, and other um, projects like from sandbox to graduation to come and um, share with everyone uh, what they are uh, were uh, were doing uh, the last uh, uh, the last uh, couple of months uh, and um, about um, about the health as well like we have a regular meeting uh, sometimes uh, it's like every week uh, we are trying to push back a little bit to have it um, uh, bi-weekly but uh, you know like a because we have a lot of uh, of projects, uh, so sometimes we have it uh, weekly. And uh, the good news that we have a very uh, active and a very uh, a big uh, addition to Dagran time, uh, Rajesh. Uh, so, uh, so we have a new tech lead. Um, and yeah, um, the thing that we uh, decided to to have it uh, so we can just gather all the information from the working group because we have about four or five working groups right now and working on the, you know, like to add another one. We uh, we had uh, a new uh, meeting, just it's a quarterly meeting uh, with all the working group leads, uh, making sure that we know what's going on, if there is any blockers, if we can help, um, just to, to make sure that we uh, we keep connecting with uh, all uh, the working groups, um, and of course you know like they can they can know uh, which working group is working on what, and you know like if, if there is any opportunity to to collaborate. Uh, moving to the contributor activities, uh, we worked with the TOCs uh, on sending the thank you to contributors who. Um, who did like um, you know like amazing job, uh, which um, it was really good uh, good thing, and we had a, a really good feedback from um, from the contributors as well. Um, and um, about the projects, we have a long list of projects. Uh, we we had the dragonfly just presented, and um, we have co uh, Kubernetes GPT, uh, Usernets. It's it's a lot of uh, other projects as as we mentioned here, um, and uh, also uh, about the work we uh, got number of sandbox uh, annual reviews already completed. Uh, so it it was a, a good collaboration from lots of uh, members uh, within all um, uh, all the tag run, uh, runtime members. Um, yeah, so in progress, uh, we have uh, two things in progress. The first one, 
uh, as, as I mentioned before, uh, we are uh, in the final steps to have the OS working group uh, ready uh, by, you know, like uh, selecting the chairs, the leads, you know, like the meeting cadence. Uh, and uh, about the AI working groups, uh, we are about to uh, reach out to tag observability because this will be a collaboration uh, from uh, the ownership uh, between us and the uh, tag observability. We wanted to have this discussion first and uh, hopefully we can move forward with AI working group. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Great. That's awesome. Uh, um, uh, on the uh, on the collaboration part in the TOC issue, I think I've, I, I wrote a couple weeks ago um, from Tag Observability that it is consistent with our charter as well. So we're looking forward to that very much. Sure. Great. It sounds like it's a healthy contribution right now in Tag Runtime and, and leadership as well. Just gathering that from the amount of projects you have and work groups that are being created. Uh, is there any questions for Tag Runtime? You okay with the slide template? Uh, the slide, yeah, it, it worked. Uh, okay. it, there is a lot of things to, to share, so it was a little bit tight for us, but uh, as you know, like a structure, I, I like it. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you. All right. Moving right along, Tag Security. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Pushkar. I'll represent our tag today. So we have very exciting announcement this month. Uh, we have a co-chair transition. Uh, Aradna was our co-chair for a couple of years. She did a lot of work starting as a member a few years back uh, with Cloud Native Security White Paper, then still uh, continuing on doing new things with Zero Trust White Paper. Uh, we're glad she's going to stick around in the tag and continue to contribute. But with that, we also have a new chair, uh, Marina Moore, who has been a tech lead in the past a few years, uh, has been a member for more, uh, has been a prolific contributor on security supply chain. Uh, she is, I think, also on the call. So I encourage everyone, use your Zoom emojis to welcome her. Uh, and uh, yeah, very excited. Also, thank you in terms of uh, uh, doing the transition a uh, few months apart where I joined in June and then now we have Marina joining. So as a result, we were able to smooth out the transition versus last time when suddenly two chairs uh, were transitioned around the same time. So appreciate that being made possible by TOC. Uh, in terms of uh, contributor activity, uh, we've started to do, do more of boards instead of individual issues for different uh, working groups and tracks. So security assessment board has been longstanding for a while. Uh, the, you can click on the link and find issues that are uh, in different statuses. Uh, generally the ones uh, in, in progress and backlog are the ones actively being worked on. Uh, we have supply chain working group board as also, which is using the newer GitHub boards. So we have three uh, statuses there, new backlog in progress. And then uh, as we make progress, those will change into different uh, columns. A couple of requests from the overall community, not for TOC. So both those links are not ready for a TOC review yet, but something we want uh, to share with the wider audience since we have reviewed it internally right now. So the first one is, uh, Supply chain security uh, related uh, one or two pager, which is intended for uh, executive audience. So anyone who will approve funding for any supply chain security programs in end users, if you want to make a case for them on why this is important for your organization, uh, this is what uh, we uh, folks in the community in the group have drafted. So please uh, share with your friends, colleagues working on this field, uh, give us your feedback. Uh, I think that will really help. And just remember the audience is more executives like CISOs, CTOs, or VPs. The second one is uh, mostly on uh, maintainer perspective. So there we have made a spreadsheet essentially with a list of security tools that map to different supply chain security controls. 
and we are asking for folks who maintain those tools to add their names, the tools, and what different controls uh, this particular project supports. Uh, so share same thing. Share with your uh, friends if you are one of those maintainers. Please uh, add yourself as a column there and. Uh, uh, looking forward to gathering more of that information. In terms of projects engaged, uh, we continue to have a strong list of projects uh, either engaged with presentations or security assessments. Uh, Catalog and Karmada are the new ones uh, compared to last time. Uh, two uh, items to call out in terms of completed work, uh, Pixie security review is wrapped up. Zero Trust white paper uh, has been reviewed extensively by the group so far. So uh, we're pretty soon going to do a final round of uh, review between our cha us chairs, then uh, share it with TOC liaisons and then uh, basically go from there. In parallel, we have created a ticket with uh, CNCF marketing to also make sure the design is in progress. Uh, the in-progress items, uh, flat car assessments, uh, we have uh, security pals uh, relaunch with NYU, which will pick up momentum around uh, just after QCon uh, until mid-December or so, when a bunch of different student groups will help us uh, do self-assessments for different CNCF projects. Uh, we are very lucky to have one of our tech leads who is an NYU professor, uh, also a tech lead in tax security, do, uh, leading this from both sides. So we'll continue to work with Justin on that. Uh, and in terms of uh, upcoming things, uh, we have Kubeflow assessment in progress. Uh, very excited to talk soon. Just waiting for a call with Lindsay later today about Security Hub and CTF for upcoming KubeCon. Uh, we've uh, taken a lot of feedback from last time when we did Security Village and just the attempt would be to make it better than it was last time. And finally, uh, research loss sub blog research blog sub activity where we would want to publish things that are relevant to the community and then how do we make it as a process that is consistent overall uh, so yeah i'll stop there i know there is another tag uh, we need to cover in the time we have thank you pushkar it's uh, a very good overview with a lot of dense information um so thank you for adding that all in here um, the research blog sub activity, I guess, is that intentional? Is that meant to be a work group or what, what exactly do you mean by that? Or is that just organizing blogs onto the CNCF website? If you could just elaborate on that quickly before. Yeah, it's mostly like uh, starting as a proposal. We generally start as anything as a proposal, then it will be converted to a project uh, within the tag uh, if there is interest. And then we will just continue to support it as an ongoing project in a tag. I don't believe we need a working group at this time for this. Great, that makes sense. Does anyone have any questions for tag security? Perfect. You okay with the slide? There's a lot in here. Yeah, okay. uh, I think templates is great. Uh, one yeah. thing I was curious would be, can we add sections like, for example, if I had more information to share about Security Hub, I was thinking just put it in a separate section with some mm -hmm. very salient points. Is that possible? Yeah, I mean, like the we're we're really just trying to be able to have like the uh, how are things going? What requests do you have? And really being able to surface those in a way that like just kind of makes more sense. So, um, be bold, basically. All right. Okay. Cool. That. Helps. I mean, December. Cool. December is your next opportunity for this. So, um, yes. uh, either plenty of time to be able to plan and plenty of time to forget about it. One of the two. Yeah, I, I'll plan to remember and let's That's see. Totally fine, know. totally fine. All right, um, that was all I had. All right, thank you, Amy. Great, all right. Tag storage, take it away. Hi, this is Xing from Tag Storage. We finished the sandbox reviews for two projects, KDAP and uh, Pravika. There is an, another storage project, One Yard, that has submitted their annual reviews. We don't know the timeline for when that needs to be done yet. So a uh, review is pending for that, waiting for more guidance from the TOC on that. And uh, Canister, uh, so Canister just got approved to be a new sandbox project. Another sandbox project, OpenEBS, uh, got some concerns from TOC regarding 
the house. It was an issue that proposes the project to be archived, but there are comments from the Open EBS committee that the project is still active. So uh, TOC asked tax authorities to make recommendations. We are working on that. And uh, since last update, uh, we have this project called Kahu. It's a Kubernetes backup and restore project that gave a presentation at the tech meeting. They are interested in applying for CNCF Sandbox. However, they are already a sub-project under SODA, which is uh, on the Linux Foundation already. So uh, I that's a question for the TOC. I don't know in that case, can they still apply for Sandbox or it's already part of the... Yep. Uh, they can apply through normal channels. Um, if they want to be able to come over, we can work out what needs to happen around all of that. So um, okay. yeah, encourage them to apply. How's that there? Oh, sure. Yeah. I will let them know. Sure. Um, and so uh, we have a new uh, tax storage co-chair, Rafael. Uh, so he was initially planning to attend KubeCon Shanghai in person, but unfortunately he couldn't get a visa approved. So we uh, recorded a maintainer session for KubeCon Shanghai instead. Uh, we will be there for KubeCon North America. We have a maintainer session there. Uh, the, the white paper that we collaborated with uh, uh, data on Kubernetes community on uh, database patterns is still reviewing progress. There are some great comments, so we are still working on addressing them. Uh, so Lee mentioned earlier that we had this new initiative, which is to collaborate with uh, Tech Network on cloud native disaster recovery networking options. And so in terms of uh, health, we do have contributors who are helping with the sandbox reviews and the white paper contributions. And we have new projects that presented at the tag. Um, so one question we have is uh, the, we did open an issue with CNCF to publish a blog for their cloud native disaster recovery white paper, but has been pending for quite a while. How do we move forward with that? If you open an issue, we might not have actually like tracked it directly. Point it toward point point me towards it, and I'll see what I can do to be able to help and block you on that. Okay, thank you. Cool. Uh, that's all from Tech Storage. All right, thank you. Is there any questions for Tech Storage? Nope. All right. Thanks, Jing. Thanks. Is that the end, Amy? It is. It is the end. Um, uh, projects moving there. levels is now at the board, um, and the updated link is the nine link, not five. So I will correct the error. Matt, you have a question. Oh no, I. I... Accidentally hit the speaker. okay. You are unmuted and not on purpose. Lovely. All right. All right. Um, thank you all for providing the TOC on feedback with the template and how it's working for you. And we'll continue to refine it as we go forward. Um, we'll be especially interested if you're able to fit all of the content after KubeCon. Uh, looking forward. Uh, I won't be there in person, but I know many of the TOC will be. Um, I'll be joining remotely, though. I'm looking forward to the collaborative discussions planned between the TAG and the TOC. So thank you all for your updates today. See you in Chicago. All right.